Now, I think all of us, though, can agree that sometimes we're just not that organized. And sometimes there are think there's data that lives on other parts of our computer. Um, or maybe we are organizing data into different folders for use later. Um, maybe there's something you're always referring back to. Whatever the case may be, we can still add that data even if it's not in our home folder. To do that, we're going to go to the catalog, and we can go to the catalog pane, but just to illustrate this, I'm going to go to the catalog window here where I'm going to look at my project and I'm going to go to folders. Now I can go to folders here in the main window or I can go onto the table of contents. I'm going to right click and say add folder connection. And what this will do is bring up an explorer window within ArcGIS Pro that I can then navigate to. Now I've already set this up so that it comes to my documents but of course you can go to this PC, go to your documents, and if you'll notice, I have another folder here that says ArcGIS Imports. This is not in my home folder though. So if I come over here and I want to connect to this folder to get whatever data is inside of it, I'm already adding the folder connection and I can press OK. And then what will happen is now in my folder tree for this project, I have this ArcGIS Imports folder right here. And I don't have any data in there, but if there was data in there, I can then bring it in. But now going back to adding data using the Add Data button. We'll go to Add Data, and then we'll go to our folders. That'll bring up all the folder connections that we have connected to already, actually. So you'll notice the ArcGIS Imports folder is there, and you can connect this to just about any folder that you want. Uh, you can connect it to your downloads folder or just your general documents folder, wherever you want. Uh, but we're going to go to our home folder, which is our project folder here. And then I'm going to go to import. And then you'll notice, unlike the Windows Explorer version, these are simpler, easy to read files because we're in ArcGIS Pro. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and add all three of them by holding Shift and press OK. And when I add the data in, you'll now notice that it has zoomed into the San Luis Obispo area. And it's not cleaned up yet by any means, and that's okay. But if we zoom in, then we can see that all of the parcels and all of the address points are already in there. And they correlate to different addresses that are within parcels. The streams are also in there. They're represented by the green lines, which we can change later on. And uh, this is actually a helpful note as well that whenever you bring in new layers, it will assign a random color to them for you.